Well, hello again out there in YouTube land. This is uh, like part three, maybe, of my uh, walking stick projects. And uh, walking stick project for beginners. I started in my other videos, they say in part one, I showed you like how I got started. And uh, it, it takes a while to collect a few sticks, but then with your stick collection, you can usually find a project to work on about every day. So today I'm gonna, it was in the sanding part of it. I buy these round discs at Harbor Freight. And uh, that's phase three of a project, got a little battery drill. And I got that same stick that we've been working on with other projects. And you see it's clamped up right here in the vise. And uh, what, I, what I do is utilize this uh, jaw horse. Highly recommend that for your walking sticks. You can use a vise or something else, but First we cleaned all of this and is completely clean now and just got the bark knocked off of it. Hadn't tried to do any any sanding. I figured out where the end was. I cut it off there and you do a little rough sanding on the bottom, but that's kind of the way it'll be in the length. Same way at the top, you get all the rotten stuff cut off and round it off a little bit and there you have it. Now, the next phase, is going to be my sanding process, which was the little ball sander from my jaw horses from Harbor Freight also, by the way. But now you don't want to forget your eye protection because stuff's going to be flying all over the place. And you get one with the seal all the way around it to get them eyes protected. Now, I'll show you, let's get up a little closer and I'll Show you how we do this. First of all, we get it chucked up in a jaw horse again, starting right here. And I got, I got uh, 18, 20 inches sticking out. And uh, we got a, our ball sander in the gun. We'll just start the polishing on this thing. And I get the first half of it. this way now I'll uh Loosen up the jaw horse and we will continue doing the same thing where we rotate it around, clamp it up, and do the same thing. And I go down that entire walking stick this way, and that'll knock any of the the rest of the bark off of it. Now, this is not like a heavy sanding or anything. This is just more or less to get, get it really clean and ready to do whatever carving or whatever you want to do on it. Now, a better part of the sanding will come later, but you want to prepare this thing to The tri camera tripod's in my way, and I, I can't really uh, get on this, but let's uh, go again with clamping that up. You just pull a little bit more of it out, go right on down the stick, and uh, you can't see it on the camera, but it's, it's knocking, uh, knocking it down getting it pretty clean and uh, actually if you do nothing else but just polish this up I say this is beginner 
so we ain't gonna do anything fancy to this one. Now I'll turn it over. And we'll rotate it some. And uh, continue that process until we get all the way to the end. And we'll see that it's pretty slick now and uh, I'm satisfied with the, the shape of it. And we're gonna turn it around the jaw horse and get this part of it. It's a little rough right here, but we're gonna continue on that. And uh, then we're gonna be ready to bring it inside the shop and uh, determine exactly what else we're gonna do with it to make a nice walking stick out of it. But like I say, this is a beginner, so we will probably not do anything too fancy to it, but we're gonna touch it up a little bit and uh, show you what uh, the next phase of this would be for a stick like this. And it comes up, it's about, I'm six foot, so this is up above about my nose, something like that. Anywhere where it's still on the face somewhere is a good length for a walking stick, as far as I'm concerned. Um, if you get it, it can be anywhere from chin high to, to the top of your head up here, as far as I'm concerned too. But now, that gives us something to work with. So, I'll see you inside the shop for the next video. See you then.